Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG text box multi-line. I've gone ahead and created a quick example here. We'll go ahead and go over the parameters and then we will run the example. The unique parameters for the multi-line text box are the content, style, and two events. For content, this is going to be very similar to our normal text box with the addition of the fact that it is a multi-line text box. If you are typing into the text box, let's say we're going to type this, you will notice it will update it. In order to have multiple lines, you need to use Shift Enter, and this will allow you to type a second line or a third line, for example. Simply hitting Enter commits the change to the text box. Justification is left, center, and right, but you will notice this as well as a few other parameters have issues unless you compile to see the change. If we change this to center and hit compile, you'll now see it centers our text. Let's go ahead and change this back and hit compile again. We have our auto wrap text as well as the wrap text at if we are using manual. If I was to go ahead and resize this, you'll notice it will rewrap the text appropriately. You will also notice that there are scroll bars that are active if we are running the example. You can go ahead and style everything, including the background. Text size and padding. Text is another one of those where if you change it, it will not change until you compile. Let's go ahead and change this back to 48 for our example. And you will notice other things such as foreground, background colors. The scroll bars can be styled. Text can be styled as well. By default, you'll notice the color and selected background are both bright pink. However, that is not what they look like when you use it. That is because it is inheriting from its parent, so keep that in mind. As for the unique events, we have our on text change and on text committed, which are the same as the text box. Text change fires every time you update the text. Committed will fire anytime you commit something. Do note by default, since enter allows you to go to the next line when you are editing live, enter will not fire a commit. You will have to override the on key preview down or on key down in order to have enter work appropriately. Let's go and run our example and then we will walk through it. I've set this up where if I type in a first name and a last name and hit enter, it takes that information and puts it into my text box. As you notice, I do not have wrapping turned on, so it does not automatically wrap. I have my scroll bar. You will notice, however, though, I have my first line and then a line break and my second line. Well, I will go ahead and show you how that's done in code. When you are editing the text, you need to use shift and enter to apply a new line. However, if you're creating text, it's really hard to do that. What you can do is in my example, I've created a new, in my event construct, a new item called new line text. And what I've done is put a new line into that by hitting shift enter. Now I can store that variable and then take that variable and apply it in my append chain. So you can see here, I have a hello mister. I take my last name. I put my new line text in. Then I do another, do you prefer to be called? I throw in my first name and then I append after that, or is there another name? And then when I commit by hitting enter, it sets the multi-line text box. So this is a handy way where you can take data and then easily format it for display in code or for example in design time maybe you want to have a bunch of books with text but the text should all appear the same on the screen even though they will be different lengths. You can simply set your wrapping, make sure you size your text box appropriately, go ahead and set it where it's disabled where that the player cannot edit it and then you can go ahead and have nice text that's formatted appropriately in multiple lines. 